got me all my life, ain't got nothing but a ball on knife, and it's hard times, and it's old mill, and it's hard times in here. And Warry Burton is a driver who a lot of people for years in the Bush Grand National Series, when he was running that full-time set, that this could be the next big star in Winston Cup. Uh, his initial career there has had some bumps and starts, as just about any rookie will in Winston Cup. In fact, he's changed colors uh, through portion of this season, as I think many of you know, and he joins us now. And talk about the life of transition for a driver. Uh, you've, you've gone from, of course, the, the Hardy's number 31 car to the MBNA car. And how difficult is it for a driver when he begins the season and says, okay, uh, this is going to be the next 31 races of my life, and I know where I'm going to be, and I know what I'm going to be doing. And then part of the way into the process, you realize that this is probably not going to end the way I expected. Well, in a lot of ways, it was uh, disappointing because uh, I got along real well with the guys on the Hardy's team, and the uh, Hardy's have been good through me through the Bush and the Winston Cup Series. It's just something that uh, Connor for the 31 felt like he needed to do and uh, probably in the long run it turned out to be the best thing for me. I'd uh, been talking to Bill Davis and MBNA and we feel like that we've got a lot of potential. Uh, Bill's in the racing world for the right reasons and uh, he's got great support from our sponsor and he's a racer and I, you know he's building a new shop, he's building me 810 new cars next year and we just feel like what what we've got planned and what we're going to do that we ought to be a good force. We ought to be a, a reckoning force in 96. When you look at uh, this season, obviously part of the problems that any team had, that Hoosiers, was they're no longer here. Uh, can you put into terms for our audience just how much that set back all the Hoosier teams? Well, it definitely was a setback. I, you know, I'm not a real technical person when it comes to the chassis and all. I really drive more from the seat of my br britches and try to communicate that to my team. But, you know, all the setups that we developed, like here, when we sat on the pole and we led the race till we blew the tire and a couple, lot of other places, we really ran good. But what we did to the race car to make it run fast does not work at all with the Goodyear tires. Uh, the Goodyear tires is a stiffer sidewall than the Hoosers, so we could do things differently. And, you know, basically, I, I wish that I'd have never gotten on Hoosier Tires, even though we won races in the Bush class, and I respect Bob Newton, and they're good people, but Goodyear is the tire to be on. They're the tire that's going to be here, and uh, I don't think you ever see me going through that again. But that's also part of the learning curve. Opportunities are presented, and they look like they're excellent opportunities at the time. And a race team's got to take any advantage it can get, and I'm sure that that's the way the AG Builder team and all of you felt at the time. Well, that's, that was pretty much the call and the decision. You know, they gave us free tires in uh, the bush. We won practically everything in 93 with the championship, and uh, Hoosier did us a good job last year. The only problem we had is we started blowing some tires, and uh, like when I hit the wall over here, I didn't know where I was or who I was for about two days, and that's not a good thing. Yeah. Now with the NBNA team, uh, you since you climbed into that car, given the, the Bill Davis team, some of the better finishes it has had this year. Uh, in fact, some of the best finishes you've had this year as well. Right. What has that done for not only your confidence, but also for the confidence of the race team, knowing that, yes, we've got some good equipment, and yes, we have a driver that seems to be meshing with what we're trying to do? Well, they, they know that I'm going to give them 100% every lap. And I know they're going to give me 100% every day that they work on those cars, whether at the shop or here. And uh, we, we feel like MBA knows that, and MBA just stepped up and is going to help us a lot more than they have been helping Bill this year, and uh, we're excited about that. We just, you know, we're all going to give it 100%. We're all working as a team. It's not one person doing it. Uh, you know, we had a problem at North Wilkesboro last week. We're using these races to learn to where we, where our weaknesses are, where our strengths, and learn where we really need to get to work and improve on for next year. And, and if we do that properly and really focus on those areas we need work, I think it'll pay off for us in next year's race. I got a couple of more questions for you, but we've got to take this break for just a moment and we'll be back to wrap up this week's and today's race week special. So don't you go away.
were here with Ward Burton wrapping up tonight's race week special. And of course, Saturday, the bumper to bumper 300. Sunday, the UAW GM uh, quality 500. Briefly, let's talk about your uh, bush car and how you think you're going to do here. Well, we were leading the race here last time and uh, accidentally got the left side tires on the right side of the car and vice versa. And from there, we kind of fell back, finished 11th. But Caterpillar car has been doing great for me all year, and uh, I've been real happy to be associated with Buzz McCall, the car owner, and Caterpillar. They're a lot of good people. And Sunday's 500? We're probably one of the top 10 cars right now, I believe. You know, it's kind of hard to tell because you don't know whether the guy's taped up or whether he's going on sticker tires or what, but we got a little more work to do handling-wise. Uh, the motor's running fine. If we get, this is a place that if we get the car like I need it, we can really run good. I've had some real good runs here and had potential to, to win some races, but uh, hopefully that this will be another week like I had at Darlington when I had a third and fourth place finish in both of them. That's what we're shooting for. We've got about 30 seconds left. How eager are you to uh, put a button on the 1995 season and jump in full time for a first full season with Bill Davis Racing? I'm ready. Um, I feel like that what we're learning now, they're going to have better equipment for me. Uh, I just feel like the whole operation is going to be upbeat and get better and better as we go. And if for some reason we're not, I think Bill Davis is kind of calling and he's committed to fix whatever the problem is. And I'm hoping that. Uh, we can prove to MBNA and uh, I can prove to Bill and we both proved to each other that this is what we want to do together for a long time. Well, we wish you both the best of luck and uh, we know that you're going to be running up front if not the before the end of this year certainly in 1996. Thanks for joining thank us. Thank you. Appreciate it. And that's going to do it for us and as always we thank you for taking the time to join us. We'll remind you that our next race week special comes up in a couple of weeks in advance of the AC Delco 500 from Rockingham, North Carolina. This is Mark Allen in for Pat Patterson. We'll see you next time.